Welcome, executive. Yeah, oh, we barely made it. You know, to be honest, today's flight was actually the fastest flight because we took off going backwards and didn't have to make the U-turn. So normally we take off this way, have to make a U-turn and go out. This way we just took off this way, it was 32 minutes. But we sat on the runway for another 30 minutes before that, so it was like the longest flight. I thought it would never end. I'm ready to, uh, I'm ready to get this done. I thought you were here the whole time. Mario, you know what's interesting is that I haven't been pulled over in a very long time. I think the last time you were pulled over was with me. Yeah, and uh, now you're pulled over. Did you yeah. get that on camera? I me being pulled over? Yeah. No, I was kind of like nervous. Of course you were. I know you, you're you're that guy that doesn't want to film because you don't want to get arrested. You know? I'm not like fully there with the laws yet. Just film it. Just this documentation of the situation. You know? That's the only thing I can tell you. Man, it's beautiful out here, though. Let me tell you, it's it beautiful. Is. The weather is nice. Yes, it is. What time was your flight for? 11.30? Uh, 11.15. So it, sh it was supposed to get here, uh, let's see, supposed to get here at 11, 12. 12. 40, 45 minutes normally. So we did good flying time, but like I said, just got stuck on the runway. So what's the plan for today? Uh, we're going to get a new car. I'm excited about this one. I'm actually, it was like, like kind of like pumped to get this one. But you know what, I don't know where I'm going. So Mario put the camera down and uh, we're gonna get the address out. Mario, we're back at Iluso. Now, why are we here again today? Because we bought the sickest Aventador on the market, that's why. Check this thing out. This is a one of one, okay, you can see it right here. One of one, all right, carbon fiber kit that was on a Verde Scandal Aventador Roadster. Now our guys at Iluso, which Iluso is uh, typically the leader in hypercars, but right now they've just started getting into a lot more of the supercars. And I can tell you right now that this is the dealer of choice because every time, I mean, you guys have seen me coming to Iluso like three or four times already, but every time I come here, it gets better and better and better. Their inventory is better. Everything from regular Huracans to GT4 Lusos. Inside, there's SVs to, to line the floor with and Porsche GT2 RSs. I mean, you name it, they've got it. And plus, Iluso actually also has the Pagani dealers as well. So if you're in the market for a Pagani, you gotta come here or any hypercar, supercar, or uh, if you're just in Southern California, you wanna hang out, but check this out. I wanna go inside and I wanna show you some of the inventory because this is the spot where, you know, um, it's actually uh, very interesting. I'll show you some stuff over there. Hypercars that way. This way is an IPE exhaust on a Ventador SV. I bet this thing is gonna blow the eardrums out. You can see it right here. Those tips are so sick. They're nuts. Typical SV fashion. They've got the, uh, the little Ys on the seats and a uh, whole bunch of carbon. So I'm looking I'm looking for the key right now. We're gonna start it up, but I'm gonna show you. This thing is, I mean, all the Ventadors are loud, but like this Aventador is super, super, super loud. Um, I like this car. I, 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 they're expensive right now. They're gonna come down, I know it. But here's a YSAC GT2, okay? This thing, with the, kind of like a, it's like, that's kind of bronze. I don't know how bronze that is, but that's pretty bronze. And then you've got the red interior, which is nice. Oh, my lost love. I love the Veyron. I will always love the Veyron, no matter what happens, okay? Uh, you know, I actually thought, you know, I thought about changing it up and getting another Veyron because like, you can put warranties on these ones. You know, as long as they're not modified, Bugatti sells you a, a warranty. And uh, the past couple of months has been without my Veyron. And so I'm thinking maybe like, I don't know, since it's been in service for so long, it's probably a bad idea to even get a Veyron because of the warranty. But here we go right here. This is, uh, this is one of my buddy's cars. He's uh, been selling this car for a while. Used to have some, uh, some gold all over it, but uh, he has since removed that. Got the carbon fiber wheels, a Gera R. 
I love the Agera so much, but at the same time, I'm a little like partial to the six speed manual. So I don't know, I'm just so confused right now about what to get, but I just saw the key. You have the key, Mario? Oh, I have the keys to something. What do you got the keys to? 720. Oh, we got 720s. And a crazy SV Roadster exhaust. Let's do it. Which which one? Uh, well, let's lead with the with the excitement first. Okay. Fair the enough. 720. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is fun. All right, 720 S's, three hundred fifty thousand dollar cars on average. Okay, Iluso is selling these cars right here for under two hundred ninety thousand. Some of these are in the two eighty range. That's, and these are hundreds of mile cars. They're not like 10,000 mile cars. These are branded cars off the dealer showroom. This one's even got wheels on it right here. All right, this car here, I think is $286,000. 286 for a car that looks like a, it's kind of papaya spark. It's probably McLaren orange. This car is, uh, let's see, MSRP on this car, well over 300,000. So that's like $50,000 off for, for like, for free basically, just because you're buying it from Iluso because they get good deals. on fire we've got a bad uh, bad string of luck with fire right now so we're gonna keep it in but jeez dude ipe they got a i mean i that's like a twenty thousand dollar exhaust system so you know if you got the budget for if you have an sv you could get an ip exhaust that's the way it goes all right Uh, Mario, where should we go to dinner? Should I, well, let me get out of there. El Pastillo. <laughs> you want to go to El Pastillo? Actually, it's kind of cold. It's El Pastillo. El Pastillo? 
Do you ever have you ever eaten there? Okay, hold on. I have, we I have soccer at ten o'clock though. Oh Mar, are you coming? It is six o'clock. No. They pop the trunk, princess. Yes. It's six o'clock right now. Are you saying that we cannot get to Beverly Hills and to soccer in four hours? I still don't know if I want to eat all all that spaghetti. Oh, and you're talking about eating that. food. So, should what kind of food should we eat then? Uh, sushi. Sushi's good, or a salad. You can just have a like a seaweed salad at the sushi restaurant. That's kind of boring. Yeah, we could go to Katsuya. Let me take you to my place, Ghost Mart. Where's that at? Uh, Woodland Hills. Is it close to here? Give or take. Is it like a five minute drive or a 40 minute drive? 25 minute with the traffic. Is it better than Katsuya? The best you've ever had. Are you gonna get me sake? I'll get you whatever you want. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. All Let's right. go. Spoil me a little bit. Come on, do something oh. cool. All right, sorry. Taking us. All right, so this place is called Goes Mart. It's gonna cost us about 600 bucks. It's from the outside. It's next to a massage parlor. Oh, Farmers they, Insurance and uh. Well, they changed it. That. that used to be a massage parlor. Stone but Smoke Shop. Outside, all it says is just sushi, right? The woman. It's a husband and a wife. The wife gives you attitude. If you've never been here before, she gives you attitude. You have to come here like 10 times in order for her. Oh, is to this the place you were telling us about when we were at Katsuya? I was telling you about this. Yes. This is the greatest sushi in the entire world. But you get treated like you're a peasant. It's, it's just part of the charm of this place. We have a uh, restaurant like this in Vegas. It's called Dicks. Dicks? Have you ever been? No. So you literally go and they're just dicks to you the whole time. Oh, that's like Okay, yeah, well, I guess this is part of the culture. Uh, no offense to anyone Japanese, but uh, Japanese women don't cater to any other male, I believe, except for their husbands, right? Am I wrong or I guess call me below? Watch me get flamed. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they do anyways. No filming. All right, no look, filming. Okay, so just look at this place, all right? It's a cool. It's like the best food in the world. All right, guys, we didn't film our dinner. It was amazing. We're not allowed um, to. We, even if we were allowed to, we, we slightly got, awkward. Say we got awkward looks and odd stares. <laughs> like. It was us and him. And, and the owner. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. With and, no music. <laughs> no music. No music. No nothing. Uh, it was cool. It was some great. It was. Out of 10. Um, Nine, nine and a nine? half. Okay, I'd, I'd give it a ten. It's I'll, a ten. You know, the only reason it wasn't a ten, ten, ten for me is because the ambiance. Uh, the ambiance, really. I mean, it's not the ambiance. Who cares it is, about it's the ambiance? about the ambiance. It's I, go, just, I go there for the food. It, the food is good. The thing is, it's a very sugar fish environment. It's very uh, 
sashimi uh, sushi it's style. Na nagori sushi. Yeah, exactly. Nagori. But that's like su that's sugar fish, right? Yes. Same, because they don't have cut rolls of sugar fish. No, that's no. just real sushi. Yeah. It's sushi. It was great. It's just that, um, you know, right, I'm anyway, still kind of hungry. This vlog. Cheers, guys. I, I did it the way he told me to do it. <laughs> <laughs>